That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. These pipettes so much more. <laughs> oh, really? All of their equipment is so cool. <laughs> NASA has good bio equipment. Well, NASA has amazing bio equipment. <laughs> I'm very happy to use it. Their cell culture process is exactly the same, so um, I'm even facing the same direction as back home, so I really don't feel that far away from home. <laughs> I'm right back in the cell culture hood. Um, my home away from home. How does it feel to use space tools? Space tools? These things? Yeah. They're pretty awesome. Okay. Yes, this stack here is our last batch. Alright, so after we take these out, we're going to fill them with new media, and then they can multiply again. <laughs> So that step's been done, and then the next thing that you have to do is you have to condition it to the media. So and the media being full of all kinds of important biomolecules, things you refer to as just factors, growth factors and whatnot, um, essential for the cells to, to, to survive and to proliferate, to be the kinds of cells they're supposed to be. And um, conditioning the beads just essentially means putting them in the media uh, for like 24 hours in the incubator, letting them kind of sponge up some of those important things. And then um, then you're going to wash it out again, uh, or change the media out, and then you can add the cells so that then, the idea being that in these these macroporous structures, the beads, that, that then when the cells go in there, they're kind of like in the context of your body, you know, your body is not just a big filled sack with, with all your factors floating around. So, so in kind of a similar way, all those things should be associated with the beads and so they're available for um, the cells to interact.